All right, everybody. So I'm out here again on a beautiful day. The message that lights my soul on fire. I got to tell you, it is a surprise, actually, what has happened over the last few months. And I just got to be completely honest with you and completely honest with even some of my clients if you're watching. You know, the relating revolution thing was like, I had a hunch, but I wasn't sure. I was not certain a few months ago how it would work out. I mean, we all are in this place from times where we have to try something new. And I'm sure I have a lot of clinical experience. I have a lot of professional experience. I've been through a lot of things personally with my own uh, with uh, my own healing and health, with my own marriage, with my own, with, with my own personal development. So I had a lot of very good reasons to believe it was a very, it was an educated guess, but there was still some uncertainty as to like, will this relating revolution and the way that I'm putting it together, will it really produce awesome results for people? And, but my heart was in the, my heart was right where it needed to be in terms of like, really just realizing the impact the impact of like of taking of working with couples that are the type of couples that are in real relationships folks i'm not talking about you know i'm talking about real couples in real relationships real talk real tools real results so that we can impact families and we can practically and tangibly and powerfully increase the quantity and quality of love and joy in the world and and not in a not in a flimsy way, not in a gimmicky way, not in a therapy way, not in a, you know, in a, in a way that really is unique. And I was like, it feels really unique. It feels amazing. It feels like this is going to be a really valuable thing for people. But when you do something for the first time, you just don't know. And so the people that jumped in, the eight couples that jumped into the first Relating Revolution cohort, I give them so much credit, it's so much courage, right? to like to try something new and to go on this journey with me and what we're seeing is actually I got to tell you it's beyond it's beyond what I really could have imagined you know it's happening at different paces for different people and different couples but that which is to be expected but we have two couples that started the program separated with young children at home now their families are reunited and they're thriving like this is just in two months guys you know huge stuff we have people whose, you know, whose sexuality and intimacy has completely been reawoken and rediscovered and rein reinvigorated. We have people that are no longer fighting and instead are laughing more together, are connecting more together, are more happy, are more healthy. We have families that are true, literally being transformed. And so the thing that sets my soul on fire is like the impact, the ripple effect, the relationship. You know, the relationship is the number one influence in our life. And people think, oh, if I really dedicate myself to this relationship, if, they, if I really go through the hardship, if I really go through the crisis, then I'm going to lose myself. I'm going to lose my individuality. I'm going to lose my individual expression. But that's me culture. That is the psychology of separation culture speaking. But really, the we consciousness and the togetherness is actually an advancement of the individual. It is not the at the expense of the individual. It is win-win. It is win-win. And so when when I when I go through now every every single relationship goes through stages and in the and in the commitment and building trust stage every single real relationship is going to go through crisis. But that crisis is the opportunity of the relationship. It is not the threat. It does not mean that something is wrong with the marriage or the relationship. It means, in fact, it might mean that something is right with the relationship. So the relating revolution is revolutionary because it invites people to stay when most times people nowadays are leaving. We're swinging the pendulum back. In my parents' generation, it was like, stay even if you're miserable and you just do the right thing. But then we swung the pendulum in our culture to like, to the me movement and the all importance of me. And like, I just got to do my thing and have my needs met and speak my truth. But right in the middle, there's the we movement. There's, and that's the relationship revolution where we realize that together we thrive, that together we can do more, that the individual is expanded upon. It is not lost. It is grown. It is developed. And that going through the challenges of relationship, of marriage, of commitment, of dedication, of staying long term 
actually provide the crucible to evolve not just the marriage, not just the family, but the individual soul. And this is what is really amazing. This is what we're seeing happening in the relating revolution. This is what I'm super excited about. And honestly, guys, I never would have guessed even a year ago that I was going to be a relationship coach. In fact, I would have kind of balked at that term. I would have thought that it was cheesy. I would have thought that it was corny. But wow, now that I see the impact that we can make on people's lives and on families and on children uh, and on communities and on careers and on physical health and mental health and emotional health, uh, I, I'm, this is amazing. I'm really grateful. I'm in awe. Uh, it's, it's just, it's wonderful. So say hello, love you all. Have a beautiful day. Ciao. This is the day 29 of 30 of my expose your truth challenge. One more day to go, but you're going to be hearing lots from me, uh, in other ways and other formats. Bye-bye everybody. Love you.